Okay, hey, it's uh, Doug and Dave back going over the UAT uh, theme, which I, sorry, UAT, which I guess I was a little redundant there, but we're going to look at how to set up the products. So this is probably the most powerful part of the theme and the reason, one of the main reasons why it converts so well and why it's so, uh, I guess, powerful to you. So uh, Dave, why don't you show us how to set up a product? Sure thing. So what we're going to do is go into our ultimate Azon settings and we're going to come down to product settings and head into that settings page right now. So um, th this is a warning here basically. Once you set these up, it's going to set your permalinks to a certain structure. Um, so if you're going to be changing these later on, you just have to be careful that you use a redirection plugin to redirect all of the new URL to the old ones. And this is usually something that should only need set up once in the beginning. So just think carefully about what you want to name your products before you go ahead and set this up. Um, so first what you're going to come in here and this is going to rename the main products here into the type of product you're reviewing this website. Now UAT is meant mostly for a website that focuses on one main product type and then might have a few related products, but you can use it if you want for a lot of different products, but it's not really optimized for that. So we're going to type in here, um, put in a singular name, cordless drill, and then we'll put in the plural, and then you can also put in a meta title and a meta description here that will be used on the archive page for this. So this is if we were setting it up similar to the cordless drills demo website. So the next section below is where you can add your product custom or product specifications here. So there's a few default fields like product affiliate link, product name, and then brand, which you can turn on or off, and a rating, which you can turn on or off. And the rating you can choose, you know, anywhere from 0 0.5, 1.5, to all the way up to five stars, and it'll display a nice graphic of a star rating in there. So what we're going to go ahead here and turn this one on, and we might put in um, chuck size for a cordless drill. Next, we can go ahead and add another one, and we'll put in speed. Maybe we'll put in another specification and call it color. And then you can also reorder these in here if you want by dragging them back and forth. And if you later on decide you don't want the color specification to show, but you're not sure if you'll want it in the future, you can just come in and turn these off so they won't display on the front end of the website rather than deleting it, and you can always come back in. But if you're really sure, you can go ahead and just delete these as well. Um, and then down below is the related products. Now, the related products aren't really full products like the main one with the custom specs. The whole point of the related products is say you wanted to have for cordless drills I might want to have uh, you know drill boxes, carry cases or something to go along with it. I could set this up here and the main point of it um, is to really give it its own archive page and to keep it separate from your blog posts. So we could have an archive page for just drill covers or you know something similar like that. So you can turn these on to enable them, type in the singular name, plural name, and go with that. So if we come back up and save our settings, you'll now see in the left-hand side, main products is now called cordless drills. So if we click into that, um, it's just like posts or pages, but we have a new custom post type now called cordless drills. You can come in here, if we're going to add a new cordless drill, we'll click Add New. You can type in your title, your main review body. Um, here's where you can type in some text for the built-in affiliate link bars. And then here's all of our custom product specifications that we had. So you would post in your Amazon affiliate link here, the product name, the brand, choose your rating, and then you can type in any value you want for your custom specifications. Below that, we have a main product image. It will show this by default if you do not upload an image. And I recommend uploading square images. That's what will work best with the theme. And if you want to enable the zoom image, like on the demo site, you just want to make sure you upload, I recommend, an image at least 700 pixels wide. Because if you upload a small image, you're not going to have anything to zoom to. Um, so then you can come in, and we have the built-in SEO turned on, so you can put a meta title and description. And that's really all there is to adding a new cordless drill to your website. Cool. And um, 
Just a, a question here. So let's say a person does set up, um, if, you, if you go back to the, the setup page, uh, someone wants to change it. Is that, uh, I know you said you could do redirection because there's some permalink uh, implications, but um, do you have anything else to add there? I mean, how, how bad is it to actually um, want to change it? Um, if you want to change it, the main thing that's going to change is when you view a review, it's going to have the title of that that you put in there in the URL. Um, so when you, if you if I change cordless drills to you know just wireless drills, say um, the, all the URLs of the reviews are going to change to have wireless reviews in them. And if Google does not set up all of the redirects properly on its own, then you know you might have links showing up in Google that aren't leading to the review anymore. But if you install something such as the redirection WordPress plugin. Um, that'll make sure that anytime you change this, it's going to automatically create those redirects for you. Gotcha. Okay, so basically worst case scenario, if you name it incorrectly, uh, say you fat finger it, you just have to deal with the redirection issues that may come up. But, you know, the fact is, if it's a brand new site, you're not going to have a ton of pages everywhere. So the, Correct. yeah. Okay, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, if you're if you have an established website or something like that, the impact could be greater. You do have to think about it, but it's not uh, its not the end of the world. Like, you could recover, right? <laughs> Correct. Okay. Um, by, let, by letting you name this post type yourself like this, it gives the, a lot of optimization and power to the theme, but along with that power comes the responsibility and the danger of using it incorrectly. Cool. Got it. All right. Um, any, anything else to add, Dave, about the, the post type or settings or anything like that? Um, I think that's really about it. The main purpose of the post type is to give you that archive of your main product reviews uh, that's separate from your blog once again and is really optimized for Google and to get people to click through on your links.